Hi everyone, it is me, the nerd, and this is Seven Days to Die. It is the day of, or, sorry, it's the morning of day 33, and we, I've been busy. I've been busy mining, I've been busy looting, I found a whole bunch of stuff. I also kitted out all of my gear here, and uh, added some mods to pretty much everything that I have, including... Some of the guns that I have, I did find this bad boy right here. Pretty happy about that. Along with some N6 M60 machine guns, which I didn't even know were in the game until I got one. And then 44 Magnum. I found a whole bunch of cool stuff. So I've already taken one trip over to the trader. I do need to make another trip with all the rest of this stuff that we've got. So let me go ahead. And let's run and do that real quick. Oh, I do have some skill points I need to assign. We'll assign those right when we get to the trader. Wait in just a minute. And then I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do both for the rest of this playthrough. Um, my goal... my When I started it, I had a goal of getting to day 50 um, in this playthrough. I don't think I've been to day 50 in a really long time, so that was kind of my goal. I don't know if that's still going to work out. We might be finished up with everything that I want to do between now and then. I'm not quite sure yet, uh, especially with... Okay, there's nothing. Especially with um, how long the days are. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I do have eight points. I thought I would have more than that, but I kept... I had a problem with dying. I don't want to talk about it. Um, I think I died in the same building probably like three times just trying to get my stuff back. Trying to clear out all the zombies. I, it, it was not pretty. So, two of the things that I definitely want to do is max out Lucky Looter and Salvage Operations. But in order to do that, we've got to buy the next level of Perception. Or maybe the next two levels of perception. That's really annoying. I don't... I don't like having to do that. Okay. But at least we'll get... Uh, that stuff maxed out. And now... What else can we do with our last two points here? Quite sure. Mm. Let's see here. We want to do sun batons. I'm not too worried about crafting first aid kits. <clears throat> Some of these would be oh there's a cougar over there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh let's see here. I would like to be able to craft chainsaws and augers. It's so expensive to get to there because we still need to do two points here. We've only got two points left. Oh Jesus. Don't there's some things about this skill tree that that I like, and then there's other things that I just don't like. And this whole two points up here is just... I don't know. I don't know. It, it bothers me a little bit because I, I struggle with getting, even with the the amplified XP or gain that we have. I struggle sometimes with getting the points that we need in order to continue to progress. And that's really, it's really frustrating because it's like, especially if you die, like you just work and work and work and work and you never seem to make much, um, much of an impact on what you're doing. So, it's really, really kind of frustrating. 
That's already maxed out. Is there anything in Master Chef that we want to be able to make? I think I have the recipes for most of those already. <clears throat> Not too worried about that. Alright, I think. See, like, we need to be able to get to making battery banks, I think, in order to do. The electrical stuff that we need to do, I think. I don't know. That's part of the problem. Some of it, I just don't know. Antibiotics, which is good. And see, that'll open up some of the mines that we might be able to do. These turrets also sound really good. Turrets active range is increased from 10 to 14 meters. You can de deploy multiple turrets, but only one. Yeah, this one. Okay. That's what we want. That's what we want right there. And then... Do we want... More XP or more health gain? Or Trader Joe's is now open. Crafting all that stuff. And then which one is the one? Is it? Healing factor, which we can't do. We need fortitude. Okay. I want to get this work on this healing factor because we need to be able to survive a little bit longer. Alright, now that the trader is open. Let's see what you got here. We're gonna sell. Uh, we might have to run down to the other one. Okay. Machine gun parts. He doesn't restock again until tomorrow. So. Okay. So, I don't think we can even make a rocket launcher yet. Can we even make a rocket launcher yet? It looks like we can. Four parts. Oh, jeez. I know we had a couple back home. I honestly don't remember how many we had, though. But yeah, as far as the continuation of this playthrough, like, there's lots of stuff that I want to do, but I don't... I don't know. I'm kind of torn, because I feel like as soon as I start working on something big, Alpha 19 is going to come out, and then on top of that, I have actually been checking out the Darkness Falls mod for seven days. And I'm really, I'm really liking how things are balanced and I'm really liking the progression. Um, I've only played it for about two in-game days. Um, but it's just, it feels the way this game should be, if that makes sense. It feels like 
they went through and they adjusted the stuff that needed to be adjusted in terms of how you are leveling up. It's not just buying points and buying perks. It's actually you you level up your archery by using your bow, which makes sense, right? And it's I don't know. For me, it just it makes more sense, but it also reminds me of like the way seventies used to be. If you've ever if you ever played it, like Alpha fourteen and Alpha fifteen, that's that was how you leveled stuff up. That's how you got better. You got better at scavenging by scavenging, and that's it. it encouraged you to keep doing those activities rather than just saying, "Oh, well, I'm going to buy a point," and then having to go through this skill tree. To buy the skills and putting all your points into things that you don't really care about so you can get to the one thing that you do care about like you have to you have to level up all that damn gawking the, and goods and that's all you buy what is it you have to level up grease monkey you have to be you have to force yourself to learn how to make a bicycle before you can make a mini bike and then you have to force yourself to make a mini bike and a motorcycle before you can make a 4x4. Four four. And then you have to master all of that before you can make a gyrocopter. And that that's not necessarily how it should be, if that makes sense. Like making a bicycle, it, you should be able to find a bicycle in the world. It should be fairly rare. But you should be able to find one in the world. Like, no matter what has happened, there'd still be bicycles sitting around. There'd still be motorcycles sitting around. There'd still be maybe a mini bike sitting around, although that's a little more of a home crafted kind of thing, at least in this game. And I don't know. I don't know. There's just some things that I'm just like, I, I really am liking how it's balanced and everything that I've heard about mid and late game in Darkness Falls is more of interest to me at least right now than seeing what kind of I don't know I, I still I love the vanilla version I've been playing it for a long time it's so much fun to do and it's so much fun to go in and start from scratch again and, and loot your butt off, trying to find the gear that you want, trying to find the gear that you need, going exploring and scavenging and mining and all of it is just, it's, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And that is, I think, the reason why people still enjoy the the vanilla game version so much you know for me it's kind of like I still I love all aspects of Minecraft right I love vanilla Minecraft but I've gotten to the point where I've played vanilla so much that the the challenge of it isn't really there for me anymore it doesn't hold my interest like a mod pack does and that's kind of how I'm feeling about Darkness Falls right now. It's not that I don't want to play vanilla, it's not that I don't enjoy it, because I do, right? But, yeah, I don't know. And there's been a lot of changes to me to vanilla Minecraft lately too. They, they've, they've done a lot of improvements. They're doing a lot of snapshot updates, so, you know, with another update and Lord knows what else. I don't know. I don't like keeping up with it too much, but you know, and that, that makes me want to go back and play vanilla, you know, so that I can say, oh, yep, I, I know how this works. I understand what the function of this is. I understand how it, it, it coexists with everything else that's already in the game. And then, but I still love going back to different mod packs and trying them out. So... But that's just me. That's my take on it. It's definitely, like I said, everything I've heard about the Darkest Falls mod is that it's very, it's, 
it's pretty in-depth, it's pretty intensive, and there's a lot of stuff that I like about it. Even just quality of life changes that they've made to it, I, I really enjoy. You know, having bigger a bigger backpack is really nice to have. Um, I can't remember if the stacks go bigger in that one too or not. I don't remember. Um, but just stuff like that, just... It, it just, it, like I said, it's a quality of life. You know, those things are, are pretty small and insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but they, they make playing the game overall that much more enjoyable. At least for me. It, it adds a different level of challenge or a different level of flexibility and playability to it that you just don't normally get in vanilla. Alright, so we finished our run to the trader. What do we have here? I think I started up some concrete cement over here. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. And let's get some more stuff mixed up here. Okay, we're going to grab that. Need our nail done. We're going to grab all of our concrete mix that we have. And then I have 32 wood frames. I'm going to go ahead and start crafting up. Wood frames. 500. We're gonna need a lot of wood frames. Go ahead and grab another half stack of that. And now, did I have it? No. I just have a chainsaw. It doesn't really help me very much. Armor still looking pretty good. Okay. So I should probably grab some food and water before we forget. Some food. Some red tea. I need to go and get some more aloe. I don't have very much. It doesn't belong in there. It belongs. Oh, we've got all of those quests that we can go and do. I need to run over to the desert though and get some more aloe so I can make some more of these good first aid bandages. Oh, and I killed, I found an actual bear. I killed the bear and got this. I don't know what this is supposed to do yet, if anything. We might have to try it out. We might have to take some time here after this next horde night and just see what some of these things do and the kind of effect that they have. <clears throat> but for right now, let's grab those. Very big. We should probably grab the repair kits. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. As you can see, it's still a mess from the last horde night. We've got to clean up all that. Should have brought an axe with me. Dang it! Don't I think of these things? Out here making a stone axe again. All right, so I've gotten the basic layout rebuilt. The zombies have kind of torn it up a little bit after the horde night. Now I want 
this is going to sound kind of labor intensive and it really is and it's probably not necessarily but I want it to all be on the same level and so I've got some work to do I've got some excavation to do <clears throat> to kind of level everything out so I'm gonna get going with that and start doing the basics of late of getting all of this built up the way that it needs to be to be a successful wall so let's get going okay I have finished most of the base most of it not all of it but most of it so just real quick we only have a few minutes before uh, horde next starts I do have a uh, blade trap set up over here I've got a couple of dart traps set up well this one's set up and powered I think there's one on the other side over here that isn't powered right now um, but it as soon as I can make another battery bank it'll be powered I do have wind spikes set up in a couple of different places so I think we are about as ready as we're gonna get I also have I'm fully um, kitted out as far as weapons I've got a shotgun I've got my machine gun I've got my club I've got a bow I've got my 44 I've got some uh, grenades and stuff that we can use as well as well as ammunition for everything I've got first aid uh, bandages here uh, some food some drinks <clears throat> so I think we are about as ready as we can be for this horde night and as you can see the wall is completely upgraded to concrete. The um, the lower levels are double concreted, uh, and then the upper two aren't fully concrete yet. They're the first level. So after this horde night, I'm definitely gonna have to go through and make up a ton more cement and get the rest of it reinforced. Um, I did a little quality of life upgrade down here. I just made in a wood floor so I'm gonna go ahead oh and I have turrets in all four corners they have ammo and are ready to go so as we're running around the zombies I did put some barbed wire in here just to kind of keep them I guess maybe slow them down a little bit and then um, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say oh and then of course like the spikes and everything so I think we are ready I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait for Horde Night to start and that's gonna be in our next episode I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff uh, powered up here so things are ready to go and this should be fun. I'm interested to see how well this stuff holds up while we are running zombies around and kind of training them around the base here a little bit. I did bring a whole bunch of other materials and stuff so that we can go ahead and make repairs and whatnot if we need to to our tools and oh, some more bandages. Yes, I forgot those were in there. So, I think we are ready. I am excited for this. I am ready. So yeah, I will see you next time when it is Horde Night. Bye!